Hello, dear listeners. This is Tana Muhammad Salim. Today the topic is Pada Punctuations. Punctuation marks are the symbols or the sign which really help to understand the composition of the text. Let's take an example of the text. There was a little girl called Mary. She had a lamp whose fleece was as white as snow. Everywhere Mary went to lamp, to her lamp was sure to follow. Without punctuation, we could not understand uh, what is the real meaning where we have to take the content or where we have to capitalize the word what is the real context so uh, now we let's uh, discuss the punctuation marks chronologically the first one is full stop comma semicolon colon question mark sign of exclamation apostrophe hyphens dash parenthesis capital letter inverted commas full stop it is the longest pause that a reader should observe while reading a text example is I will meet you at 4 o'clock. At the end of sentence, we put full stop. There are a lot of other examples. You can read yourself. The other one is comma. It is the shortest pause and is used extensively. It's a troublesome punctuation and a few tips are there. Where you want to separate the things, you have to put the comma. For example, if you go to the shop and want to take something, one by one you have to pronounce the name of the things and you have to put comma, like sugar, comma, soap, comma, biscuits, comma, are required. Semicolon. If Two sentences are closely related in meaning and have an equal news and it is not desirable to separate by a full stop. Semicolon is used. Where two equal potential of news, they are in a fragment, fragmented sentence. For example, you type the letter I shall type the bill then colon it is used to introduce a quotation or a definition the news says the bum blast is an act of sectarian terrorism question mark whenever you want to ask something directly incomplete question or the statement tend to as a question can i help you how much we put question mark Sign of exclamation, when you outburst the emotions or the feeling, you put sign of exclamation. Goodness, that's thunder. that thunder was loud. Wow, what a beautiful place. Apostrophe. Apostrophe used for possession. For example, Fahim's shirt. And a lot of examples are there. Off is used for object. The four legs of the table are broken. Inverted commas. Inverted commas are used to enclose speech. Reporting speech and reported speech. My boss said to me, your back page check was sent to you today. My sister said, get out now. Use inverted commas to enclose quotations. Shakespeare says, to be or not to be. Hyphen. A few rules are there. It is used to join parts of compound word. Maid servant. It is used to combine a word with its prefix. Post dated. Dash is used 
to explain, to show a certain change or the explanation. For example, it is used for the explanation. In this term, there are three core subjects, strategic management, project management, and quality management. Then parenthesis. Use bracket to enclose a statement inserted into a sentence. My dad persisted for months. Even though I express no interest, that's in irrelevant information or extra information about me joining the armed forces. Capital letter. It is obvious to everyone. Everybody knows we have to capitalize noun, pronoun or some other letter. It is not a part of punctuation but it is useful to understand where in the text is cap capitalized. For example, uh, we uh, the previous composition, there was a little girl called Mary. T is capitalized and Mary is capitalized. Then put full stop. She had a lamp whose fleece was as snow, as white as snow. Here we have to put full stop at the end. Everywhere E is capitalized. Everywhere Mary M is capitalized when her lamp was sure to follow. I hope so you will understand the important concept of punctuation. Thank you very much.